Hello, everybody. Well, spring is in the air, the trees are starting to bloom, and the weather is starting to warm up, and I thought that that would be the perfect opportunity to do one of the range tests on my Ionic 5 that I've been promising. I'm going to use my all-weather tires, uh, the Nokians, with the 18-inch wheels, uh, because a lot of people have been wondering if those impact the range at all. Uh, what I thought for a while with the Encompass all-weather tires from Nokian, and you can see here the size, is that um, even though they're a bit grippier, um, the, they weigh, I think what I remember, they weigh about 15 pounds less um, per wheel than the stock setup. It ends up being a bit of a wash um, because even though these have better traction, they're lighter weight. So I don't think they really impact the range that much. All right, so starting out, I've zeroed out the trip meter. Um, you can see that the car is telling me I have a 255 mile range, um, and that is with uh, no uh, air conditioning on. It's about 62 degrees today. Um, and I will be running the air conditioning at around 67, 68 degrees driver only. What a beautiful day in the Pacific Northwest. 61 and sunny is what the temperature on the car reads. So tires are all about 40 pounds per square inch. Um, I don't think they'll go up too much over the course of this drive. I'm doing pretty much the exact same route that I did last year um, with just a slight modification, starting from Bellingham instead of Mount Vernon, um, hoping to end up in Bellingham at the end of the route. I'm going to try to keep it between 65 and 70 uh, the entire time. Um, I'm sure there'll be times where I, you know, get into congested areas and I've got to go a little bit slower, but that should be expected. Last year on this drive, I achieved approximately 256 miles, but I do have 38,696 miles on this car, so also curious to see if we've experienced any battery degradation. Underway, I've driven 33 miles, and I'm already noticing uh, that we're well below uh, mile per kilowatt. I think I was about 3.3 miles per kilowatt um, this time uh, last year and we are at 3 mile per kilowatt. We have reached 75% battery state of charge. Um, we're averaging 3.1 miles per kilowatt hour and the, uh, we've driven almost 62 miles. are now at 50% battery state of charge. Uh, we've traveled 123 miles and we're averaging 3.2 miles per kilowatt. Um, have about 125 miles remaining uh, on the gasometer. reached 25% uh, battery state of charge, traveled 180 miles, 3.2 miles per kilowatt hour. Uh, it says I have 59 miles remaining. Awesome. EV Go, I have the plug and charge set up and it works pretty good. Well, a quick summary. I traveled 227 miles with 
two miles remaining. The route that I chose was just a slight modification and it allowed me to travel at 70 miles per hour more frequently um, because I was in those speed limit zones. And also because I traveled on a weekday instead of a weekend, I encountered a lot less traffic, which that also helped with my um, keeping my speeds up. So overall, the difference was about 11% from the range I achieved last time. So it's very evident that I had uh, less efficiency um, this time around as I got 3.2 miles per kilowatt. Last year when I did this range test, I achieved 3.5 miles per kilowatt. And the temperatures and I think the winds um, were pretty much the same. I think the real difference is probably just the speed and the tires. I think running this test one more time with the low rolling resistance tires will help us understand um, just what uh, amount of that 11% difference in range um, is attributed to the tires. And that will help us you know, figure out what is the actual degradation um, if any, over the course of uh, the almost 40,000 miles that we've driven the car.